Now we have unlocked the silver archetypes for created players. Now I have a surprise for you all when we go ahead and enter the silver archetypes. But if you're going to go ahead and tell me that Road to the Show is not tracking your stats, I have been told and informed of this already. I would contact SDS and tell them about it so they could fix it as soon as possible. Now, if you don't know how to create your ball player or you don't know what ball players are, don't worry. That's what I'm here to help you with as well. So if you go to the top left hand icon, that is where your ball player is created at. So we go there and you can see I have already created mine. I have changed his pose. There are several poses available. This is the one I like best. You can change his appearance. Another bug from appearance is it does not always save your most recent appearance. I do not know why. When it comes to the player card, I would not be distracted too much by the player card in terms of saying, hey, why does it say these are my attributes? I don't think this is an actual representation of my attributes. I would completely ignore that and I will tell you all why. Now, what is your ball player? Your ball player is similar to a 2K created player. It's gonna be a unique player in terms of looks that will go into Diamond Dynasty uniquely and then you'll be able to create him and roll to the show multiple times at different positions. Now, how do you create these different positions? That's where the loadouts come in and you have to create a new loadout per different position you want your created player to play. So for example, we go to our loadouts currently and you will see that they completely changed the way my created player's appearance is supposed to look like. So silver archetypes, this is the biggest surprise that I found. So at the bronze archetypes, if we go by positions, you will see that bronze only has center field, first base, second base, catcher, starting pitcher, relief pitcher, and then relief pitcher. But the good thing about it is if you put yourself as a catcher, he can go ahead and play in any of the positions as his secondary. The same thing goes for spark plug. Basically any of the hitting can play any of the positions as a secondary except for first base. First base can only do the corner infield and the corner outfield as well as catcher. And then speedster can only do the middle infield and then the outfield in general, but spark plug and catcher can basically become a utility man that does everything. If you want to become a starting pitcher, you have to get painter. If you want to become a relief pitcher, you have to get cheese. And then filthy is also relief pitcher. So once you go ahead and level that created player through these diamond dynasty missions and road to the show missions, but clearly road to the show is bugged. So diamond dynasty missions is what we're talking about at the loadout screen or at the loadout icon being highlighted, you wanna press the square button. At the bottom, it will tell you which button to press, and it says view program, we press that, and it will tell you right here the missions necessary to get points awarded to you towards getting the next archetype. Now the next archetype for us is going to be gold. I'm very interested in seeing what gold is going to be about, because if we go all the way to gold and we press triangle, we see that it says the wizard, which makes me feel like that is going to be a shortstop primary, and then the mechanical man. I'm not sure what that can be, but I'm hoping that that means that you make a primary catcher, but it seems like it's limited to only two positions, which is definitely rare how they're doing that in general this year. But at the end of the day, if my player can go up to a 99 overall, it's gonna be worth it to me. So now a lot of you have also been wondering, how do I check my attributes and how do I see how they're going to look like inside the game? So if you go to your player card on the top right hand corner and you press the square button, you might be looking at this and saying, okay, is this an accurate representation with equipment, etc.?" I would say that most of the times this is an accurate representation. If it is accurate with equipment on the player and taking equipment into consideration, I am not 100% sure. The best way to find this out is when you enter either a Diamond Dynasty game or Road to the Show game with your equipment. If the numbers are much higher, then that means that the equipment hasn't been taken into account. Now, if you wanna see how you got the stats that you currently do, all you have to do is press triangle. When you press triangle, it's gonna go ahead and show all your stats for that primary loadout that you have. So the sparking slickster, this is how all my attributes actually look currently. So 53 contact versus left, 53 contact versus right, 46 power, 46 power. 
if we drop down to contact vi it tells you what it's increasing as well as what it's decreasing now you can't see but all the way to the right where i'm covering it it's telling me that it decreases contact whatever number that is it decreases accuracy by six and it decreases reaction by six as well so if it's supposed to be a 68 it will now be a 62 and then when we go to power it's telling me that because i picked plus six power on both sides i am decreasing my contact by four on both sides and speed by five and then when they take into consideration these two calculations this is what my contact numbers will look like this is how everything will look like in general so I just wanted to make sure you all had an understanding of how your attributes work. Now, if we hop into Diamond Dynasty, and a lot of you want to go ahead and enter your player in Diamond Dynasty, you're gonna see a couple of cool things. Now, before I even do that, I'm gonna go ahead and change my equipment. I want you all to be witnesses that I am changing my equipment because next time I make a video regarding created players, meaning next time I go ahead and unlock the gold one you're gonna see that my player is gonna look how it originally looked which means it never truly saved what i went ahead and customized which is really unfortunate but i need you guys to see it as proof so i want both of these on you guys see how he looks he looks amazing i think he looks spectacular evo shield arm sleeves and all that no sunglasses even though when you enter loadout you see sunglasses let's go into diamond dynasty now so at Diamond Dynasty, you're going to see a couple of different things, which is what makes me feel like it takes into consideration the equipment in the all stats, all attributes screen. So when you go into Diamond Dynasty, if you were to press triangle right here, you would see that it says your player's attributes are all in the 30s. This is impossible and this clearly cannot be true because if you look on the top left hand corner, you will see that it says your player has 46 contact. 42 contact versus left, 45 power versus right, 41 power versus left. Now, a way that you can also check what your player looks like with equipment on is you can go to conquest real quick and not even start the game. You can pretend like you're gonna go ahead and start the game. So we're working on the East Affinity right now. We're gonna pretend we're gonna face the Philadelphia Phillies and we're gonna go ahead and see how our player would look like with equipment on. So with equipment on, Blade Mist has actually 72 contact versus right, 72 contact versus left, 60 power versus right, and 60 power versus left. So the player stats shown to you in the beginning are not accurate with equipment on. It is without equipment on. And now you might be saying, but hey, isn't your guy a primary position shortstop? How in the world can he play catcher? Well, as I showed you all that loadout, it allows you to have a bunch of secondary positions. So if you need your created player to stay at catcher, he's gonna be able to stay at catcher. If you want him at shortstop, he can also go ahead and play shortstop for you. Now he's only suffering minus three fielding and then minus three reaction. Everything else stays the same. So of course, we're gonna go ahead and leave him at catcher because we have a much better defensive shortstop there available for us. And the fielding, it's not gonna make too much of a difference. He was common at shortstop. He's gonna be common at catcher too. And now we're gonna begin working on getting him to a gold archetype so we can see what those two mystery rewards are and we can continue creating the best ball player available when it comes to loadout and all of that together. If you did end up enjoying today's content, make sure you hit that like button, red subscribe button. Don't forget to follow me on all socials at Blade Miss. Have a blessed day and night. Stay positive, stay safe, stay blessed. And I will catch you all in the next one. Peace out.